I know that a lot of bloggers and vloggers like to stay within their niches and not talk about topics that are controversial. But when it comes to something that is detrimental to people's health and well-being, I'm going to talk about it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video won't be as light as most of my videos because a decision was made to overturn Roe v. Wade on June 24th, 2022. This decision is disheartening because a lot of those with uteruses will not be able to receive the procedure that is desired by them and they will have to resort to procedures that were done in the past that caused infertility, death, and emotional and physical trauma. Due to the fact that procedures were not done in sanitary conditions, hangers, metal objects, and unsanitary objects were being used to perform this procedure. Due to that, a lot of those with uteruses had to deal with infertility, death, or emotional and physical trauma. The overturning of Roe v. Wade also means that children will be brought into this world that are not loved, appreciated, and cared for properly. And that should be evident by the amount of children that we've seen in the news that are no longer with us due to the mistreatment of those that brought them into this world. If you feel like this procedure is undesirable, don't get it. If you don't like it, you don't have to get it. But you also can't force your beliefs on somebody else that either wants the procedure or needs it. Because there are those out there that need it. There are those with uteruses that know, yo, I would not be a good parent. Those that are victims of assault. And those that just are not ready. I feel like this decision is very surface level. And it's made based on feelings instead of what's right and what's safe for those with uteruses. I attended the protest for the Roe v. Wade overturning in Chicago on June 25th. And it was just great to see people sticking together and really making arguments for choice. It was just amazing to be there. Jesse Jackson pulled up. Some great men and women pulled up. And there was some great signage that really did educate and put things in perspective for people that just don't get it. So it was just, it was really great to be there. It really sucks that we even have to do this. So, yeah. I know that a lot of bloggers and vloggers like to stay within their niches and not talk about topics that are controversial but when it comes to something that is detrimental to people's health and well-being i'm going to talk about it so i do hope that that is respected here on this channel thanks for coming through make sure you like share and subscribe and the only takeaway that i would have for anyone watching this is do your research before you open your mouth please and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Come on, girl, I ain't bad. <laughs>